Environmentalists say the future of a popular Travis County nature preserve is under threat as the Wild Basin Preserve on Austin's west side off of 360, tons of sand are clogging Bee Creek from a nearby construction site. The heaviest rains in more than 100 years played a big part. But KXA and investigator Robert Maxwell found out the developer could have lessened the problem if it had followed city recommendations. The questions now are when the mess will be cleaned up and who will pay. We'll go down over here towards the waterfall. Wild Basin yeah. Preserve offers a nature hike minutes from the concrete of downtown Austin. Regular outdoors enthusiasts like Peter Moosey will tell you the hilly terrain makes for a scenic workout with a waterfall as a reward. Scenic all right, except for this. You can see where well, the sandy loam has come down through here and filled in the holes, coated both sides of the banks, and leaves us kind of a nasty little film on top of the water right. that normally isn't there. Early last summer, city authorities say neighbors downstream along Bee Creek started noticing the sediment building up after big rains. Along with Travis County, St. Edwards University manages the preserve. Environmental researchers from the school documented the scene, showing in places the sand is six inches deep or more. Emails from City of Austin development inspectors show much of the sand seemed to be coming from across FM 360 in the new Grand Duca Hotel office complex. The massive hilltop project opened in early November. The biggest change to Bee Creek happened after heavy rainfall May 7th. Nearly four inches fell overnight. Weeks later, record rainfall on Memorial Day weekend saturated the site again. A city development inspector visiting the Grand Duca site snapped these pictures. They show after that big storm, water overwhelmed erosion controls not meant to withstand so much at once. The natural resource director for the county has been watching the project on the sidelines. Inevitably, when you have rain like this, you're going to find the weaknesses in the controls, and the thing then is to take immediate action to correct the problems that you've got. In June, city records show inspectors drew up a list of fixes, but it would take months, repeated site visits, even the warning for a stop work order for the developer to stabilize the sloping land. As recently as September, weaknesses remained. Silt fences not properly dug in, a stone retaining wall not built. KXAN reached out to land developer Riverside Resources operating under the name Capital Ridge LP. They declined an on-camera interview. A spokesperson, though, offered this statement. Capitol Ridge is committed to cleaning any sediment deposit caused by the construction project and are working in close cooperation with the city and county to ensure this matter is resolved in a timely manner. KXAN also discovered, though, the problems began long before the record spring rains. In late 2014, the developer had cleared nine acres of the site all at once. When you have that much rain, every project's got problems. The city inspector for the project, B.J. Carpenter, says he had recommended stripping the land in phases. That would avoid leaving so much loose soil. How was so much land clearing allowed to happen in the first place? That's allowed under the, uh, under the permit. I was informed that it would be done in phases. And um, then on my next inspection, um, the land had all been cleared at once, as opposed to small sections of the land. When Carpenter demanded an explanation, the developer told him totally clearing the land made it easier to tie in sewage lines around the site. Now, there's this current mess to clean up. If you come through here, you can see how thick the sand starts getting up on these banks. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I mean, you can build sand castles, and it's like this all the way down the creek. As for Peter Moosey, he says he'll continue to use Wild Basin Preserve, but his concerns extend to future development of the hill country and possibly more pressure on local creeks. Because that's just one building. This is going to keep happening for 20 years. You know what I'm saying? Gonna, they're going to keep building out here. Now, Travis County staff tell KXA and the developer has brought in an environmental consultant. The cost of the cleanup is not clear right now, but before any construction began, the developer did put about $40,000 into an account. About $3,000 an acre, we're told. It's a fund meant to pay for any off-site environmental messes. And we'll let you know when the cleanup actually gets underway along Wild Basin Preserve. I'm Robert Maxwell, KXAN Investigates. Travis County staff believe part of the erosion problems in this story were rooted in the number of contractors the developer hired to do various jobs. We checked and Riverside Resources is behind a number of high-profile developments around Austin, but none have any current violations or complaints with the city of Austin. This investigation all started with a tip. If you have something you want us to investigate, email us at reportit at kxan.com.